Hi guys, it's Sam here from Bargain Hunting Blonde and today I'm here to talk to you guys about having repairs done on Louis Vuitton bags. I'm going to talk about the repairs I've had done on one vintage bag and on one newer bag. So let's start with the vintage bag. So backstory on this bag. This is the first ever Louis Vuitton I bought. Um, I bought it vintage when I was 18. I had saved up, um, I was lifeguard and I was really excited and so I bought it for myself for my 18th birthday present. and. It was definitely, the Baquetta leather had definitely been tanned and used a lot and it was definitely much more of a, as I like to call it, an OG bag. So when I started really growing my collection, I gave it to my little sister to use and she has used it probably not as much as I would have just because she's not as much of a bag person. A lot of times she literally just carries around her phone. Um, but. It unfortunately met a little bit of its own demise in the form of one of my little sister's puppies and said puppy decided that the Louis Vuitton was gonna make a good chew toy. Luckily she barely got to it and when I took it into, my mom actually took it into Louis Vuitton because she didn't want me to know because she thought it'd be upset and I would have been but luckily it was fixable. Um, took it into Louis Vuitton and they were willing to fix it. And we're talking this bag is so old that it has um, a date code that is not in the same format that the current date codes are in. I can actually show you guys that um, on here. So this is the little bag. It is, let me puff it out a little bit. It is a Speedy 25. You can see it's very OG with its little very um, greased handles. Um, which I actually want to condition a little more, but that doesn't actually bother me because I've had this bag for so long um, that I kind of like how well it's held up considering how old it is. Um, and like I was saying, to show you guys the age, you can definitely see it. Um, that says 891. I don't know if you can read it. Like that's before um, the date codes that we now have that have like where they were made and the week and the year or the month and the year, depending on how old the bag is, uh, existed. So it's very similar to the uh, current Speedies, like it, these guys are classics and they never change. It's just kind of like a black hole in here. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, the dog got it and the dog got the piping. So my mom had the piping replaced um, around the whole bag, as you guys can see. They did a great job. Um, and then this, uh, where there was a tab that was replaced, I think. Oh, yeah, the tab on this side. Um, so the lock is actually in the bag, um, was replaced. And they did a great job. Um, like I said, I bought this pre-loved already when I was 18. So it has been through a lot and has seen a lot and it did not come straight from Louis Vuitton. And it has, I mean, like we're talking like this bag is like super vintage. Like it does have some cracked canvas on top, um, which again, doesn't bother me because this bag is so old, but they totally replaced it. No issue, no issue that it wasn't bought in store. Uh, granted, I do have a pretty good relationship with um, one of the sales associate at my Louis Vuitton and I have bought uh, a couple things from them and I know that they can be a little nicer to people that they have relationships with and that they have bought things from and they, they didn't ask anything about the bag. They're just like, oh yeah, it's authentic vintage Louis Vuitton. Like, we can fix it. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost. Let me send it away and I'll let you know. Um, so that was great and I really appreciated that they took the time to do that and... Uh, my little sister has decided to somewhat upgrade this bag. So when we were in Paris, she did buy a strap for it um, so she can carry it crossbody, even though it is just a normal Speedy 25, not a Speedy B. Also, when I uh, got it back, this bag did not have a dust bag. This bag, again, consignment, OG bag. They actually gave me a dust bag when I got it back, and it is one of the drawstring dust bags. So it's very big. Louis Vuitton drawstring dust bag. That really excited me. I am so glad to have a dust bag now for this bag. And I love that this is the drawstring one and I didn't even have to ask for it. So great experience there having that bag repaired. Um, it does take a little bit. Uh, I would say this probably took three to four months, which is obviously not very quick, but it's great that if you have your bag that is a Louis Vuitton, they will repair it even if it's vintage. They do a great job and the bag looks great. Then my second bag is um, a bag that a lot of people have had problems with and I actually was in Europe using the bag and it the glazing on it literally just melted. Like melted and stuck to my clothing, melted and stuck to other things in my suitcase um, and I was in Rome at the time and it wasn't even that hot. 
So it wasn't like it was, you know, 120 degrees outside. I've actually had this bag in 120 de degree weather in uh, Palm Springs area and it didn't have any issues then. It, I don't know what it was. The glazing had already had cracking issues and I was being stubborn and didn't want to take it in because I didn't want to be missing my bag for so long. So that bag is the Pochette Matisse. Um, where I had glazing issues was like a lot of people. Um, I had glazing issues right here on the flap. Where the glazing melted was actually on the strap of the bag and it made the strap really hard when it dried So the strap was basically unusable So I took it into Louis Vuitton and the bag was one of the first iterations of the Pouchette Matisse so it did have the uh, leather on this pull tab and It was just a little different. I think they've come back and made this bag a lot better because I haven't had any glazing issues with this guy but they did say, you know, this is something that shouldn't be happening. We've had lots of issues with these bags. We need to send it out. Uh, we're not sure if it is going to be um, something that you're going to need to pay for or if it's going to be something that Louis Vuitton's going to pay for. Not sure. Well, come back a couple weeks later that Louis Vuitton um, has decided that these bags are defective and they were willing to give me a whole new bag. So I was a little worried because the Pouchette Matisse had a really long waitlist at the time, which I know Louis Vuitton has since done away with waitlists, but at the time a really long waitlist and I was really worried that I'd be without a bag for like almost a year. But luckily my essay was great and he located this and texted me within 24 hours of their decision and I got this bag. Um, the only difference between this bag and the other bag, obviously this bag is like brand new looking even though I have used it. Um, is that this is made in the US and my other bag was made in France. I'm completely okay, that's not something that has ever bothered me. I actually, I mean, I'm from the US, I like made in US bags, but um, there's something special when you do buy in France or in another country that you get, you know, like a made in France. But I've never been one of those people who would like be like, no, I'm not accepting that Pachette Matisse, I want a made in France one. So I really appreciated their customer service. I, in general, do not always have the best experience in boutiques. Um, I look really young and people can kind of be rude to me, which I don't really appreciate because I am definitely a handbag connoisseur and I love to purchase luxury items. So I've actually walked out of boutiques to go to a different boutique to buy the exact same bag because people have been so rude to me. So I was really glad that Louis Vuitton had a great policy with repairs and with their bags and they stood by their bags, which I really appreciate because I love older bags and sometimes, you know, they do need some work done on them and Chanel isn't willing to do any bag that's over five years old and a lot of times um, other brands want proof of purchase and I like to buy my bags pre-loved so I don't always have proof of purchase. Sorry about that guys, my battery died and I wasn't paying attention and the camera was flashing at me and I just I guess I ignored it. So, like I was saying, I would take advantage of Louis Vuitton's very generous uh, repair policy and if you have vintage bags that you love, they're definitely willing to repair them. If you have any issues, I would say just try another sales associate. I think, you know, if you have a relationship with someone, that definitely helps. But in general, Louis Vuitton is willing to do repairs on their vintage bags even if they weren't purchased from Louis Vuitton. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to see how I style my handbags, handbags, oh, that, I don't know why that was such a hard word to say. If you want to see how I style my handbags, make sure to subscribe to my Instagram and my Facebook, which I have linked down below. Thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day. See you in my next video. Bye.